everyone and welcome to the Stack Lens Breakout Edition. I'm Sharmi and today I'm here with a very familiar face and voice, the Runeterra caster and one of the minds behind Giant Slayer. It's the Blevins. How are you doing and what's been going on in the world of Blevins? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here and uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes lately, but uh, maybe some more stuff finally back on camera. So today we're going to play uh, this game called The Stack. The rules are pretty simple. I'm going to present to you with a few statements uh, regarding Legends of Runeterra, and you're going to decide if they're going to uh, resolve, meaning you agree with them, or if they're going to fizzle, meaning like, nah, I don't agree. All right? I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Question number one. Will NA have a player in the top three at Worlds? In the top three at Worlds. I'm going to yeah. say this resolves. There's so oh. many good... I, I, I'm gonna, I gotta say at least one. At least <laughs> okay. one. We've, I mean, there's so many good players. You know, you've got Majin oh, Bay, you've sure. got Mo, you've got... Well, Mo, okay. I got, I got, <laughs> I, it wouldn't be me on camera if I didn't throw a dig at Mo. Uh, you've got Aikido, you've got What Am I, who is who has topped so many events but has not gotten that crucial win and a win at worlds would definitely be one uh to turn the narrative on what am i though many players and uh people in the scene already know he's one of the best yeah i gotta say i've been wanting to see a brazilian there as well like right now i'm kind of biased yeah. because i know a lot of europeans you know <laughs> i have a lot of friends in poland uh you know like we got you know, uh, really good players around here as well but i would love to see you know like brazilians have been doing really well on seasonals so oh, yeah. that'll be really cool Vladimir will become tier one by the end of the year. Uh, that that's gonna fizzle. There's no way. No. Uh, I, unless they really change him, uh, he's a he's a five cost five five. That's it's he's too slow. He requires you to attack. He's disruptible. You have to build a deck around him. I, I gotta go fizzle. No way. It's, uh, it's sad. I'm sorry, Vladimir, my darling. It might not be your year. I, I love Vladimir. Like I think, like the whole self harm is a really cool, uh, you know, like play pattern. Oh yeah. So oh, yeah. it's kind of sad, but you know, like the fear some gave him, you know, like some some new spice. Yeah. That's a that was a really cool addition. So let's see how how that goes. Do we have new champions? Maybe new keywords. So let's see how that pans out for the rest of the year. The faded keyword will get nerfed. Ooh. That is a good one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with fizzle. If we're talking about the keyword itself, I know. I mean, you could change it to only give plus one, plus zero, plus zero, plus one, and that would obviously make it a lot worse. I think. Yeah, that 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 it would hurts. really kill it. Um, yeah. and it's also much less. I mean, it's already kind of an uninteresting uh keyword in and of itself because it's just giving stats. Giving it less stats would be even more uninteresting. I, I, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Fizzle. I think they can nerf the uh, the followers and champions with Faded and potentially be in a better spot. We've already seen a little bit of that happen with some of the uh, with some of the units, but the keyword itself getting uh, nerfed. I'm gonna go with Fizzle. I, I can agree with that. I think giving plus one plus zero would just be like too bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of lame. So I, I can see that. Maybe you know some of the followers already saw uh, the you know the nerf to one of the key cards of the the best deck, which was the oh, oh my god, what's the what's the blade that gives overwhelm? Oh, uh, oh now I'm now I'm blanking. <laughs> uh, Zenith blade. Zenith blade. Zenith blade. blade. Thank you. Exactly. So uh, maybe no, it's more it's more in control right now. So yeah. I, yeah. A keyword allowing units to block elusives will be released. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with resolves, but I think people who've been asking for this are going to be very disappointed with how good or exciting this keyword is. It's just not that it doesn't really matter. Like, you know, like you're like, oh, yeah, I need a way to block elusives. It's like, okay. Reach is like the least interesting mechanic in Magic the Gathering. No one cares about Reach unless you're playing like core set limited and you need a four mana two four to block a two a three mana two two like it's not a fun or interesting mechanic so i, I mean maybe they'll they'll release it actually i'm gonna, I'm gonna actually change that i'm gonna go with fizzles because i don't think they're gonna release a whole mechanic around it because there's only so much room you have to uh put mechanics in sets and that's such a lame 
and <laughs> uninteresting mechanic that I don't think they're doing it. I'm changing. I'm going with fizzles. They're not. Okay. Do it. <laughs> I mean, um, I feel like uh, elusives is a keyword that gives problems with like most releases because they always find a way of kind of you know like break the game with these units that are really hard to block. So, but I can see you know the lame aspect of it, like releasing a whole new keyword just so you know units can right. block. No one is getting excited for the new cards if it's like these cards have reach. <laughs> That's I can agree with that. So I yeah. <laughs> we're on the same side. <laughs> Draven will be a three three again. Hashtag make Draven great again. Oh, <laughs> I want I so want to say resolve because I was one of the lucky players back in the early days who got to play with uh, the old 3-3 Draven, and he's very good. Yeah, but I have to say Fizzles, uh, as sad as it makes me, he, I think that he's such a, he's such a good, well-rounded champion. Uh, giving him the protection uh, from Mystic Shot just makes him a little bit too good, allowing him to block. Uh, allowing him to, like having Draven be a good blocker is very, very scary, because every time your opponent attacks gotcha. with one power unit and you get to block with Draven and get that free axe. Ooh, that feels good. And opening that up to even more units for him to block, that's way too scary. It's way too good. And uh, as sad as it makes me, I got to say for this. Yeah. And we actually seen him like rise again. There was there were a lot of, uh, you know, Scion Draven decks going on mm -hmm. around. So it's not like, you know, like he's gone. Like there's so many champions that are completely yeah. gone. Draven is not one of them. Chimes will be nerfed in the next balance patch. Ooh, uh, man, I I think I gotta I gotta say resolves, and this is without I have no knowledge of what the next balance patch is. So this isn't a, if you're trying to get some insider information. I don't have any for this one. I haven't seen any new balance patches, but I'm gonna say resolves. It it is a I don't know how they're going to do it because there's there's actually not a ton of ways to do it you could nerf bard but bard's not really the problem it's the, like what True. he does like the card bard doesn't really do it himself like playing him is whatever Definitely. but it's the it's the bard origin and the 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 ability that he gives your deck uh just from playing him that is 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 very cool and very unique and i i really like the uh, the champion origin, whether it's Jin or Bard or, or other yes. champions that they may put in. I really like that wrinkle that they've added to Runeterra, where they're technically yeah. not adding a, a, an 11th region, but it kind of is. Um, it's exciting, yeah. It's really exciting, but the power level and the ubiquity to which we see Bard, it's so easy to, to put him in. You don't even really, like, you honestly don't even really need to run very many cards um in that origin you can just run a, basically a mono region deck and then run one bard and uh, a couple other cards and you're good that you know like a yeah. bard can make a lot of decks bad decks you know playable so right which is which i don't think is always a bad thing but i do think it's a little over tuned now and yeah. maybe they don't nerf the chimes themselves but i think we're going to see some adjustments to the cards and the play style in the general. package so both resolves Next one is also something that I think uh, a lot of people would like. Although I have to say that, you know, in the Renatara community, there's a lot of things that, you know, the players really want. And when it happens, it's like this crazy thing, like happened with Mona Shurima, it happened with Thralls, you know, like everyone wanted it to be meta. And when it was meta, <laughs> everyone started crying about it. They too, right? Tom Kench will receive a major buff. Ooh, I'm going to go with Fizzles. Uh... Tom Kench is a very uh, is actually a very strong card that sees play in basically one deck exactly, uh, and I think that that is not a bad thing. He's played in the okay. the Tom Kench Soraka deck, and that deck for a long time was played on the ladder here and there, and it will make it will uh, it's basically now been relegated to a tournament deck, so we only really see it in some tournament lineups, and it, the deck very rarely ever changes it's like almost exactly the same deck every time with maybe one or two card changes and i think having those archetypes in the game is fine uh you'd, I, if every deck was like that the game would be very lame it'd be like playing with starter decks for sure. all the time yes. that stinks but i do think having some of those is good a for new players and b just to have that as sort of a niche tournament deck so i think tom kench getting buffed is kind of a scary prospect because he can be very dominating. It's very scary. 
he's very, very scary. If you've ever played against Tom Kench and, they, yes. and your opponent gets one to stick, they're controlling the board and really uh, yes. doing a lot to you. So I'm going to go with Fizzles. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Fizzles, but I do think that I, I like Tom Kench being powerful. I don't need him to be more powerful. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Um, I like decks, you know, like that revolve around combat and with a lot of units. So Tom Kench is kind of, you know, like my nightmare, <laughs> basically. <laughs> uh, we're seeing some versions, like some decks running him with Ash, you know, like uh, and uh, the Landmark. Um, I'm forgetting every name today. The, the Landmark that brings champions. The Oh, uh, Howling Abyss. Holy yeah, Abyss, exactly. Yeah. So there is, uh, there, there is, you know, some trying out with Tom Kench, also with Udyr, and definitely a stronger Tom Kench would be very scary. <laughs> yeah. People need All to right. be careful what they wish for, for sure. Exactly. <laughs> Again, like Trolls was a nightmare. Another, another deck that you know, like, completely destroys my my mid range fair deck. <laughs> So there was that, there was a Mono Shrima that was, you know, like always a meme and when it became a thing, it was like everywhere all the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, be careful what you wish for, for sure. So last statement, and that's regarding, you know, a champion that we're getting uh, soon. Kai'Sa will dominate the meta upon release. Ooh, this one is really tough to answer because we only have like a a leaked like one second screen grab from the oh, from Star, Star Guardian, Guardian video. <laughs> I'm so excited for that event. Yeah, very very cool looking event. We don't yes. we don't know what her other keyword does. We don't know what uh, she transforms into. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, uh, go on a limb and say resolves because I think they're going to be pushing the champions for sure. Uh, they, uh, I think there's a history. Yeah, there's a history of that, and you want the new cards to be exciting, right? And I think Kaisa is the type of champion that should be exciting. Um, and I also think that people are going to... We don't know what the what her keyword does or what her uh, leveled up side does, but I do think that people are going to want to play with it. I think she's a very popular champion from League. She's TNT, very popular, yes. Very, very popular. So even if she's, Yeah, exactly. Even if she's not the most uh, like competitive, strong card out the gate. People are going to try to make her work. And if she's unique, they're definitely going to try to play that. So she may yes. dominate the meta in terms of play percentage at the beginning, and it will probably slowly dip afterwards. But I I'm going to go ahead and say resolves because I think there's a world where she very well may. Okay, yeah, I, I agree with that. We had champions that, you know, like were pushed until they actually got nerfed. You know, like we had mm -hmm. Nar, we had Poppy. You know, it didn't mm -hmm. happen with Yardos, though, for some reason. <laughs> they, they just they just dominate. Like I, I, I have I have a, a trauma that I didn't have before, you know, like regarding Yardos with Runeterra. And then I started playing TFT and at the time that I was playing TFT there was like just this like this Yardos comp that was also a <laughs> with with Vagar shooting pink stuff at you. So yeah. <laughs> for some reason Riot really likes the Yardos. But yeah, Kaisa, I, I I wouldn't mind Kaisa dominating a bit. I I she can step on me at any time. So, <laughs> all right. So that was it. That was our last statement. Blavis, thank you so much for playing this deck. I hope you had a good time. I had a great time. Oh, absolutely. Pretty... So let people know where they can find you, get more of your content, and what you got going on in the world of card games. Yeah, so you can find me on Twitter. I'm at the underscore Blevins. Uh, that's where you can find me. I've, uh, I think I've been relegated to being a workout selfie uh, content creator because that's what people see from me most often now. I'm doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes uh, for wisdom. And uh, so definitely keep an eye out for all the stuff that they're doing. And hopefully you'll right. be seeing more of me uh, in the future. We'll see you next time on the stack. And don't forget, you aren't losing if you're learning. Bye.